Is your bank account trapped in America? Exploring Capital One's global reach. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic might surprise you. We're diving into the world of finance, but with a twist. Have you ever wondered if your bank account is, well, stuck in one place? Specifically, the United States? This question might be particularly relevant if you are an expat, a frequent traveler, or someone who just likes to keep their financial options open. So, let's talk about Capital One. It's a financial giant, a household name in the U.S., synonymous with credit cards and innovative banking solutions. But is Capital One just for Americans? Can you, as someone living abroad, leverage their services? Buckle up, because we're about to explore the fascinating, and sometimes surprising, global reach of Capital One. First things first, let's dispel any myths. Capital One isn't solely focused on the U.S. market. They're actually a multinational financial services company, with a presence in two other major economies, Canada and the United Kingdom. This means that Capital One credit cards, for instance, are very much available to residents of these countries, offering similar benefits and rewards programs as their American counterparts. But hold on a second, what about the rest of the world? Here's where things get interesting. Capital One, as of now, doesn't directly offer its services in most other countries. There are no Capital One branches in Europe, Asia, Africa, or South America. This might seem like a limitation, but there's a key reason behind it. Capital One has chosen to focus on these three core markets, allowing them to specialize and become a major player in each region. However, that doesn't mean you're completely locked out if you live outside the U.S., Canada, or the U.K. The beauty of the modern financial world is its interconnectedness. Here are a couple of ways you might still be able to interact with Capital One, even if you're not a resident of their core markets. First, consider travel. If you're a globetrotter and hold a credit card issued by Capital One in a region they operate in, you're in luck. Many Capital One cards boast the advantage of having no foreign transaction fees. This means you can swipe your card abroad without getting hit with those pesky extra charges that can eat into your travel budget. Second, let's explore the concept of subsidiary banks. Capital One, like many financial institutions, has partnerships and affiliations with other banks around the world. While you might not see a giant Capital One logo on the branch down the street, there could be a local bank that offers similar products or services backed by the expertise of Capital One. It's always worth doing some research to see if such partnerships exist in your country. Finally, the world of online banking is constantly evolving. While Capital One doesn't offer direct online accounts to most international users, there's always the possibility of future expansion. The financial services landscape is constantly shifting, and who knows, maybe Capital One will decide to take their online services global in the coming years. So, to wrap things up, Capital One isn't exactly a one-size-fits-all solution for everyone on the planet. But that doesn't mean they can't be a valuable resource depending on your specific circumstances. Whether you're a Canadian enjoying fee-free travel with your Capital One card or a resident of another country exploring partnerships with Capital One affiliates, there are ways to potentially leverage their services even if you're not located in their core markets. Remember, the key is to do your research and explore all the options available to you. With a little digging, you might be surprised to find that Capital One, the seemingly American giant, can play a role in your financial world, no matter where you call home. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, keep exploring the exciting, and sometimes surprising, world of global finance.